This video is on fusion and this topic is from graph theory. Fusion in a graph may be defined as a pair of vertices V1 and V2 in a graph G is said to be fused if they are replaced by the single new vertex V. So V1, V2 are fused and it is replaced by the new vertex V. See, there is a condition here. Every edge that was adjacent to either V1 or V2 or both is now adjacent to V. So, whatever the edges which are adjacent to V1, V2 or both is now adjacent to V, the new vertex V. Hence, the fusion of, see here, hence the fusion of two vertices does not affect. So, it does not, fusion does not affect the number of edges. So, the number of edges does not affect but it reduces the vertices by one. So, if they are total four vertices so after fusion it will reduce by one so the vertices will be three and the number of edges will not affect so this is about the fusion see very easy a pair of vertices v1 and v2 in a graph g is said to be fused if they are replaced by a single new vertex v such that v is equal to so v in brackets the fused vertices v1 and v2 every edge that was adjacent to either v1 or v2 or both is now adjacent to v hence the fusion of two vertices does not affect the number of edges if there are four number of edges after fusion also there will be four number of edges edges means lines but reduces the vertices by one see here here two vertices are fused and become one so here after fusion the number of vertices is reduced by 1. So, this is the only property. And next, we have to note something. The fusion of two adjacent vertices always produce a loop. Whenever there is a fusion, so it is replaced by a loop here. At the point of the fusion, so wherever the two vertices are fused, so it produces a loop and the number of the loops is equal to the number of edges between the vertices, between the vertices which are fused together. So, with an example, I'll show you what is fusion and how to draw the figure here. So, here in this graph, so this is graph G1 and this is after fusion and see how it comes. They are number of vertices. How many number of vertices are there here? There are four number of vertices that is V1, V2, V3 and V4. So, they are four number of vertices here. I will show you. And out among these vertices, V1 and V4 are fused. See here, this V1 and V4 are fused by the new vertex V. That's what I am writing here. Here, V is fused. V1 and V4 are fused by the new vertex V. So, here simple, this is V3 is the same vertex V3 and here this is V2. And now we have to draw the graph. How we will draw the graph? So, V1, V1 has two vertices. So, it is uh, towards V3 and V4. So, V1 is here. Yeah, already it is fused and whatever the edges it have. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. And see here, V1 to V4. So, V1 and V4 are same. Therefore, I am drawing a loop. Wherever the fusion occurs, there should be a loop. And the next one, V1 and V2. Next, V1 to V3. So, this is V1 and this is V3. So, I am giving an edge here. So, there is an edge here. I am giving two edge. And the next one, we have to go with V2. So, V2 makes an edge with V3. So, as usual, V2 makes an edge with V3 and that edge is nothing but 3. There won't be any effect in the number of edges. And the next one, if I go with V3, V3 has 4 edges. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 1 with V2, it is already there. And 1 with V1. So, V1. So, already 2 is already there. And next v3 to v4 so v3 to v4 is also here so i'm making an another edge and making an another edge and this is nothing but four and next one v3 is making another edge with v4 so so again it is making an edge here that is five and see here 
this one is 1. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in place of fusion, we have a loop and we count it as 1. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4 and this is 5. So, the number of edges does not affect but the vertices affects by redu reduced by 1. See here, how many number of vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we have 1, 2, 3. So, it is reduced by 1 and therefore, this is nothing but the graph after fused. So, fused uh, uh, vertices are V1 and V4. And the next one here, it is a very simple figure. So, this is the figure A, B, C, D. And the vertices are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, I will fuse B and C. So, if B and C are fused, see B and C, I have to make a, another vertex, new vertex where B and C are fused. Here, A is already there. At the same position, B is, D is already there. So, A, B, C and D. And now we have to draw the edges. See here, from A, there are three edges, 1, 2 and 3. So, 1 with B. So, this is 1 with B. The number here is 2. And next, 1 with D. So, this is D. The vertex uh, edge is 1. And 1 with C. C is already here. See, it is already here and therefore I am giving it as 3. And next, if I go with D, so D has two edges. So, one with A and one with C. So, already it is uh, with A and with C we have to draw. So, here there is C and I am giving an edge and this is nothing but 4. And next, B to C. So, B and C, as you know, if they are fused, we have to draw a loop here. So, I have to make a loop here and therefore, this is nothing but 5. Therefore, count the number of edges 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There shouldn't be any effect on edges. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Clear? And next, vertices should be reduced by 1. See here, how many number of uh, vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, 1, 2, 3. So, it is reduced by 1. Ed vertices are reduced by 1 and edges remain same after fusion. So, this is how we have to uh, draw the figure after fusion. See clear? And the next one here is the second graph. So, here in this graph, the number of vertices. First, we have to check number of vertices. That is A, B, C, D, E and F. So, how many number of vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in which B and C are fused. So, we have to make B and C as a single vertex. So, this is the single vertex where B and C are fused. A in the same position. So, this is A and here D also same position and here this is F and this one is E. Clear? This one is E. And now, we have to make the edges. See here. From A, if I start A to B, so here it is B. So, I am drawing one edge and that one is 1. And next one, B to C. So, B to C. So, B to C, I have to make a loop here. B to C, that is nothing but 3. And next one, B to F. So, this is B to F. So, and next B to E. So, this is B to E. See here, B to F is uh, 2. And B to E is nothing but 4. So, after clearing from B, so I have to go with F. So, F has an edge with B and E. So, already it is there too. And from F, we have to take an edge. And this is number 5. And next, coming to E. So, E has 3 edges. 1, 2, 3. So, it is uh, E to C. So, E to C. That one is 6. E to C. So, this one is number 6 and this is E to B. So, it is already there 4 and E to F. This is already there 1, 2, 3. Clear? This is 1, 2, 3. And see here, if I go with C here, C is making an edge with D. C, C is making an edge with uh, C. This is 7 and this is 8. So, I have to make, I have to give a loop here. So, this is 7 and this is 8. 
Now count all the edges here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And same as here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And count the number of vertices. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1 is reduced. Number of, red, number of vertices are reduced by 1 and number of edges remains the same. And this is how we have to draw the fusion graph after B and C are fused. And the next one here, the second graph here is like this. So, we have uh, number of vertices 1, A, B, C, D, E, F. So, total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 number of vertices are there. And now I am going to fuse B, C. If I am going to fuse B and C, see here, I have to give a name, a new vertex V. So, which is, which is that B and C are fused. So, A is like that. So, A is same. So, D is also in the same position. So, F is also in the same position and E is also in the same position. And now, we have to draw this one. So, from A, if you count, there is only one edge with B. So, here there is B. I am giving, I am counting, I am giving an edge and that uh, edge number is 1. And next coming to B, there are three edges here. So, one with A already done and one with F. So, this is number 2 and 1 with C. So, he, C is already here. So, we have to make a loop here. So, that is nothing but 3. And next, if you come with F, F has 3 edges here. 1 with B. So, B is 2 and 1 with C. 1 with C again. So, I have to give this one C. And that one is 4 and 1 with E. So, this number is 7. And next, if I come to E, so E has two edges. One is 7 and the next one with C. And this number is 6. And next, if I go with C, C has 1, 2, 3, 4 edges. So, 1 with B. So, B it is already done 3. 1 with F it is already done C. And 1 with D. So, this is 5. So, if you count all the edges here. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, if you count, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is no effect in the number of edges. Now, if you count the vertices here. So, they are 1, 2, 3, 4. See here. They are uh, vertices A, B, C, D, E, F, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, if you observe, there are only 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And this is how we have to um, draw the graph uh, after fusion. And this is also so simple if you follow these tips. If you really understand, please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And please practice definitely. It will be very helpful for your preparation. Thank you so much. Please take time to raise your thumb. And leave a comment below. Thank you.